Welcome back to my channel. My name is Starkiller59 or Andrew, mainly Starkiller59. And today we are watching the second part of Republic at War. Uh, in the last video, I was talking about the pros and cons to this mod, as well as you seeing a space battle. And uh, today we are now going to invade the planet. Choose your reinforcements. And, uh, yeah, let you guys see a land battle because I haven't seen much land battles gameplay of Republic Cup War. Anyway, I've chosen to also invade this planet because this is the uh, this planet also has a lot of build slots. Because in the last episode I said that planets have very few build slots. This one has about seven, so this planet is very key in order for me to progress my economy later on in the game the and of our cause. this mod has been done very well like I said um, the landing craft has been improved it's not just one landing craft it's several for even just armies such as the Techno Union craft and then the TF lander so they've really improved on this mod so like yeah it's all Star Wars here it's all droids and all that yeah anyway I have not actually pl invaded this planet or defended this planet before, so I apologise if there are some stupid stuff happening here. Anyway, um, in this mod, basically, it's just it's like the Clone Wars mod, which I have done. You should check them out as well. And uh, basically, this this is just that, except the graphics and the audio have been improved they have been improved you'll see later on in this video of bombing runs and bombardments they've been they've also been stepped up completely it's imp it is impressive and um choose your reinforcements now i'm setting off my armies to capture Germany. gives out its own income quite high, uh, around 300. So plus the mining facilities, I'll be able to increase my economy farm, able to build higher things like the Minerpins, which I will also be making a video for, because there's a there's a certain way to build it, such as in the Clone Wars. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Galactic Conquests. Um, there are about five around five galactic conquests uh, three of them are all the s three of them are the same but a little different I'll explain in a minute and two of them are not the three that are the same basically have all the planets for now in this version in version one this is only version one and I have to say it does look quite good so I can't wait for it they're currently producing they're currently working on version two of Republic of War right now trying to like fix any problems and you know just improve the mod itself and it is quite good i can't wait to see how they improve it and um but the galactic conquest like i was saying there's three that are the same which have all the planets so far in this version but they're a little different one of them is like a race to capture certain planets within a certain amount of days that's been on the usual Empire of War game. So like, you have to capture three planets, three key planets in like 60 days. So I, 
I don't particularly like those type of guys, so I don't play it much. And um, the second one is the same, it's just more and more galactic conquest and conquer every planet to win. And the third one that they've done yes, is sir. very, very impressive. I hope to do a video for it. Yes, because sir. that one, the, the conquest that mode is called Fall of the Jedi. Basically you start, you know, as the normal Clone Wars Galactic Conquest map and like you're fighting at about like day three into the Galactic Conquest, um, a hologram of the Emperor shows up and uh, it cuts, it cues a cutscene of Star Wars Episode 3 of all the Jedi I've done, which is actually quite good. That's, I haven't seen any more of that uses cutscenes as well. They also use cutscenes for the Clone Wars series as well. As the intro, so I hope to show you that as well. So that's actually pretty good to use the cutscenes. And anyway, they use the cutscenes for episode three, showing you killing the Jedi and after that all your Jedi heroes are killed. And you have every Jedi hero like Mace Windu, Yoda, Obi Wan. Like they're all removed. They're not killed because you know Obi Wan Yoda survived, but you you lose all your heroes apart from all the clone ones, such yes, as sir. Commander Cody yes, and sir. Delta Squad. And you gain you lose Palpatine as well. Palpatine's a hero, and he's replaced with Emperor Palpatine. So then Anakin Skywalker is also replaced with Darth Vader, and they also did this quite early. Galactic Conquest mod, which I don't think is a good idea because you start as the normal Galactic Conquest with the same amount of planets as in the other two, but then you don't have much time to prepare because all your heroes are going to die or be removed. So if they did it like about 10 days in, like when you're just fighting, when, you, when you are you know, starting to fight the enemy taking planets, like they should have done it then, but they did it early in, but it's still a good idea to do that. Anyway, you get Darth Vader, you get Tarkin as well, and then the next day, um, another hologram shows up, saying, with the audio from the uh, council room or senator room, saying how Palpatine is replacing the Republic with the Galactic Empire and we get another hero, I can't remember which one it is uh, and um, Imperial related, I think you get Targen at that point and basically then you get three Imperial Star Destroyers and you have access to build more and basically it's just the rise of the Empire but you still have to fight the Separatists over the millions of planets, you just fight them as the Empire, but you still also have the Republic tech as well, so that is actually a pretty good Galactic Conquest. I hope I should be able to show you guys as well later on. I plan to do a lot of videos for um, this mod, I mean, there's these two quick reviews, or quick look at Republic War, then I'll, then I'll do the how to build Malevolence, then how to build Pride of Core, and then the Fall of Jedi Galactic Conquest special special one that they have. So that Galactic Conquest is actually quite impressive. I will have a look at that. And uh, you also get like free start, free Imperial Star Destroyers to start off with. So yeah, but like all the Separatist heroes are still there for some reason. So uh, like General Grievous was still alive. So that sucks a bit. And, um, yes, sir. So that's Fall of the Jedi Galactic Conquest, which I'll show off later. And the other two are basically just like Assault and Coruscant, where it's only the planets around the Coruscant. And then the Rim World Conflict, where it's just planets in the outer rim. Um, where are we at in this video? We've done the, no, we haven't done the bombing one yet. Um, the bombing one will come in a minute. Um, the CIS also has more heroes. 
Many bounty hunters, uh, such as Cad Bane, which was in the Clone Wars series. So it's quite a good that they introduced him as a serious hero. And, um, uh, the Galactic Conquest is mainly what most mods have, so they do have skirmishes as well. Uh, not much to skirmishes, but you can like, build a lot of stuff. Uh, now here, also we have a bomb run. And you just get to see how well they've improved it. Uh, I've set it to destroy the barracks, and the explosions from the bombing run is just spectacular. So, now, we come in, now in a minute we commence the bombing run. My, force, my forces are now mopping up the remaining... Um, enemy there. There wasn't that much on the planet, so I also, also plan to remove the civilians that's helping them as well. So the bottom one comes down now, and it lags up a bit, but it is worth it. They have really improved the bombing run because originally it was just oh look, there's guys flying out of the barracks as well. I never noticed that before. <laughs> that's quite good as well. You yes, destroy sir. a barracks and just units fly out of it. That's actually quite funny. And, um, yeah, they've really improved everything in this game. They've improved the AI, made them harder on any difficulty. Like, they've improved the, the graphics, the audio, the explosions. Everything's just great, improved. They have worked on it for quite some time, and I do say it is quite worth it, so you should download this mod. And, um, yeah, this mod ha also has a funny way of installing itself, so I'll show you how to do it. And another spectacular explosion. And the skies look more of space as well, which actually hasn't been done before. The sky kind of looks, has the space above it as well. So that's actually quite, pretty impressive. Yeah, at this point in the video, this was like 10 Two minutes in, and the battle was 20 minutes because once I destroyed all the structures, there was like a clan trooper squad still on the planet. Yes, sir. So I had to cut out quite a lot of the videos as I tried to spend like 10 minutes finding the one clan trooper squad. So around in a minute, you will see like a massive cut. So I just wanted that. And, um, yeah, this mod is really worth it, and I highly recommend you download it, and I'll be doing a lot more videos for this mod. Yes, sir. And, uh, Great recording. I think that's it for now. Check. Yep, right there is the massive cut. Also, before, I also need to mention that this mod does extremely lag. Like. like, not straight away though, but at the beginning, Choose like your when you're building your forces, Choose your reinforcements. Uh, so is the enemy, but I would say like 20 days in, that the game would just start to lag up quite a lot. So they are planning to improve that situation yes, of sir. lagging, but yeah, around 20 days in when you're all starting to fight, the game will start to lag up, and here we'll finish off the last enemy squad with a bombardment. And right there, even the bombardment just looks better because originally it was just green lines falling down. But we've managed to conquer a secure, a highly secured planet from the Republic, and now we'll be able to increase our economy. Hopefully, be able to build the benevolence, which I'll probably show next. It will be either the benevolence or the pride of court, then the other one, then the installation, and then the fall of the Jedi, probably. I'm not sure exactly what order, but thank you for watching me try out Republic of War. Hi, uh, 